Hey guys, Shen Damon or Shen Damon here. Today I want to make a video on how you can set up Demonic Impulse in the early slash mid sections of tier 3. What exactly is early slash mid tier 3? Well, it's pretty much the start of tier 3 and up to 1370-ish, which is like Argos. Which at the time of making this video is the latest content. But anyways, let's get into it. Now first things first, if you just transitioned from tier 2 to tier 3, it will feel really bad to begin with. This is because you lose your tier 2 engraving setup and your stats too. And chances are you're trying to stay on budget and not invest too much at the beginning at this point in the tier. For this reason, I would really recommend you get Impulse level 3. This is easily achieved by slotting in 2 plus 9s for Demonic Impulse. If you don't have plus 9 books, they're pretty cheap to purchase. You can also get a few from the welcome challenge. Once you achieve this, this is good enough to stick with long enough so you can just focus on stats on accessories instead of other engravings to make the class perform better. From the start of tier 3 all the way to 1370, I pretty much stuck with impulse 3 and adrenaline 1 and at the time of the making this video, I uh, still have that. Speaking of stats, you'll want to focus all on specialization on accessories with crit and specialization on the necklace. This applies throughout all of tier 3. I have seen some people running with specialization and swiftness on their necklace with Argos gear and adrenaline which also works but I personally think spec crit is the play until legion sets come out. As for skills, Demonic Impulse uses the same build for well everything you do. So here is a 268 skill point build and here is a 312 skill point build. I'll include links in the description. The only difference between the two is Demon Script is maxed at 312 and we bring Demonic Slash to level 7. Later on you can max Demonic Slash with more points. If you need to know which runes you need, this build relies heavily on wealth runes. Check the in-game codex or other sources on where you can achieve these wealth runes. Slot the highest rarity wealth rune you have on Demon Vision. You can slot the second best into Demonic Clone and then Howl. And if you're using 4 runes then Demon's Grip is also fine. The rest of your rune slots can go in Demon form such as a Bleed Rune, Rage Rune, a Gale Wind Rune, etc. In Tier 3 you get to work with Skill Tree Tracking and Leveling. You should be tracking mainly the Encroaching Power Tripods or basically the tripods that increase the gain for skills you use. These will help with transforming significantly. If you already have those tripods then you can go for tripods that reduce cooldown on some skills like Howl which is pretty good since it's your party synergy. As for skill rotation in human form there really isn't any order for your skills. I would say just use Howl last just before you transform so that the debuff on the target is still there so you can do some extra damage while transformed. While transformed I really recommend using your A and S first. These two hit the hardest and also have the longest cooldown. Using these first means you can use them again while transformed. Also if you used Howl before transforming, these two skills will benefit from the damage increase. Uh, after that it's uh, pretty much roll your keyboard until boss dies. For engravings, assuming you already have a Demonic Impulse 3, I'll just cover different options for engravings you can take. Adrenaline is a really good engraving to take whether it's level 1, 2 or 3. It has no drawbacks and will benefit you regardless of level. Level 1 is easy to achieve with only a stone alone. You get some extra damage and crit chance if you can keep up the stacks which is very easy to do while transformed due to your low cooldown skills. Grudge and Curse Stall are ideally the end goal for damage engravings and will be relevant throughout tier 3. Please don't use Grudge or Curse Stall at level 1 or 2, only use them if you can achieve level 3. I also understand that some people may or may not like taking these engravings if you are new to the game because they do affect your defensive capabilities. But you're gonna have to take them at some point so it's uh, I'll leave that decision up to you. Hitmaster is a good budget engraving in my opinion. This increases the damage of non-directional skills which is pretty much all of them except one in demon form. Again this is an engraving with no drawbacks so it's pretty safe to take. I will note that your W Deathclaw in demon form will not benefit from this engraving because it is a frontal attack. That doesn't mean oh I'll just hit the boss in the side then since it's a front attack. Uh, sorry to say but that's not how this engraving works. 
Raid Captain is a good engraving to take. This increases damage based on your move speed and doesn't have any drawbacks. At maximum movement speed with Raid Captain level 3, your damage is increased by 18%. The max move speed is 140%, you already get 20% from transforming, which puts you at 120%. While I really dislike doing this, you can pair this with Spirit Absorption, but I think overall you're just better off with other damage engravings. You can achieve more move speed by proccing Rune Rage, and some other members in your party can also increase your movement speed. And finally, Keen Blunt is an engraving you can take once you achieve a good crit rate. I would say the absolute minimum to take this is at 60% crit rate, but even then I would say go for more crit before you take it. It's probably something you can consider with Argo's armor pieces. Pairing this with Adrenaline is also a good idea. For gems, you only need two. Uh, demon form skill damage and cooldown and uh, that's about it. You can maybe take some more cooldown gems for your human skills or just start funneling extra gems to your alts. It's your call. For your card set, go for the Lost Wind Cliff set at 12 Awakening. This gives you a flat 7% crit chance which is very useful for DPS's in the game and you can stay with this set for quite some time while you work on getting on future harder sets like Light of Salvation. If you don't have Lost Wind Cliff, then something like Will Meet Again with the Force of Giants is a good combination since it does provide defensive bonuses. And uh, if you don't have uh, neither of them, then just, uh, well, just use something. I'm going to briefly cover which Argo set you should pick at 1370. You have two options here, Preordained and Harsh Oath. At two pieces, Preordained increases your crit rate and Harsh Oath increases your crit damage. Typically, you should go preordained for the crit rate. With a spec crit necklace, impulse level 3, and two piece preordained, your crit chance should be around 60%. If you have adrenaline, then that's another 5 to 15% on top of that. And with a good crit rate like that, you can consider Keen Blunt as an engraving to take. But anyways, that's about everything I wanted to talk about on Demonic Impulse in the early and mid sections of tier 3. If you have questions, feel free to comment them. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and also checking out my Twitch and my Discord. Anyways, peace!